we stopped here just to have a look at, at these trees here because we've got a couple of different examples. So this is ash, Fraxinus excelsior. Uh, and this is a really, really useful tree for lots and lots of uh, different reasons. So ash is um, used a lot for making bows. Use the, the, the premier native wood in this country for making bows, but use a very, very slow going, growing and are therefore hard to get hold of. Ash is incredibly robust and strong, both in tension and compression. So it tends to get used for um, more bows than anything else. Now here we've got a, a slightly more mature tree, and this is the sort of size, if it was nice and straight, that um, you'd be looking for for making bows out of, and it'd allow you to split multiple staves out. And we can see the bark here is starting to develop some patterning. In due course, it'll become very fissured and textured, a little like oak, but distinctly different, um, with not such deep fissures in the bark. Now, if we look at the younger stem here, and ignore the honeysuckle wrapped around it, we can see it's quite smooth barked. You could mistake it for willow, but it doesn't have the diamond shaped lentil cells, okay? Now, the real key identifying feature where you can actually reach them, which is difficult on these taller trees, is to be able to see the buds. So if we have a look here, we can see we've got a dark brown, sometimes they're coal black bud, and they're almost like a, a little pyramid almost. They've got four facets to them, and you get one central bud, and two little ones on the side. Okay, so it's a good mental prompt to think coal black buds, ash. Now, in terms of firewood, this is a really, really good fuel. And most trees are about 70% moisture when they're green. This is only 30. So it obviously makes sense that it's on its way to being seasoned compared to other woods, even when it's growing, then it's gonna take less time to season as a firewood. It's also a hard, dense and heavy wood. So all wood gives off the same amount of energy in terms of calories by weight. Um, so it's the hard, dense woods that we want to get a lot of energy into a fire or into a wood burner for the minimum amount of volume. Uh, and this is a very hard, dense wood, so it's a very, very good firewood. It tends to be straight grain, so it splits really easily, and it can be separated along the growth rings. So it's used for splints, for basket making, and that sort of thing. Um, the Vikings had a lot of folklore around this tree. Uh, they believed Loki was chained at its roots, and um, they did believe that if you took a sick child and split an ash tree and passed the child through the gap and then bound the tree up, as long as the tree survived, then the child would not die. Um, I don't think that's a service you can get on the NHS, but uh, it was also used similarly for adults as of a Viagra alternative. Um, every couple of years, these produce seeds, and if you get them early when they're green and pickle them, they're rather nice in a cheese sandwich. So that's ash, Fraxinus excelsior.